outside of Waterville, Maine, get some gas. Probably about two and a half hours outside of Baxter State Park. Gonna make a driver switch in Bangor, and then we'll be within an hour or so from Millinocket. This trip's gonna be a little unorthodox as uh, the weather's only giving us a pretty short window of time to get these hikes done. So as soon as we get to Baxter State Park, we're headed in uh, to hike North Brother and Fort Mountain via the Marston Trail. Uh, should take us probably around four to five hours, and we'll be back in time for dinner at Roy Brook Campground where we're gonna meet Willow from Love Made Adventures. And then Saturday morning, we're gonna get up bright and early and head right up on the Katahdin before the predicted afternoon thunder showers come in. Uh, they're calling for a pretty warm day, very hot and humid, so you never know what to expect. So wish us luck and keep your fingers crossed for those guys. so up the trail definitely over 80 degrees out right now and if you come out here to Baxter State Park don't forget the bug spray seriously we have three kinds on Buggy as heck up here, so we're gonna take a couple pictures and head on down to Fort Mountain. Well, they said this herd path over to Fort was a rabbit hole, they weren't kidding. It's tight. The footpath itself is quite obvious. It's just very uh, overgrown. in the last mile put us back to the parking lot at about 6:45. it's about six and a half hours round trip 
Not too bad. Tough hot day though. About eight o'clock or so and we're back at Roaring Brook. And we're about to have some dinner, courtesy of Willow at Love Main Adventures. Got some really good looking pulled pork right there. Mm -hmm. Good morning, it's about 5 a.m. And it's unfortunately raining a little bit. Uh, really poured last night. The chances that we're gonna hike Katahdin today are pretty slim. So we're probably just gonna milk it around the site today, maybe go wander out and see what there is to see around Roaring Brook. And we'll make an attempt on Katahdin tomorrow. See how it goes. Trail. Just checking out a little section out to Little Niagara Falls and Big Niagara Falls. The forecast for tomorrow is not looking very good. Worse, in fact. So the plan now is on Monday, despite the fact we have to be out by mid afternoon, we'll pack up and head out before daybreak and attempt to climb Katahdin Peaks and then drive back to New Hampshire. Six o'clock, just woke up from a little siesta. Not much else to do, but we're gonna make some supper and sit around by the fire a little bit. It stopped raining a little bit for now. So we're just gonna milk it into the evening. Probably call it another early night. Forecast for tomorrow still isn't looking very good. So we may do some more sightseeing, we'll see. Sunday, uh, about 7 a.m. Just got the Rangers weather forecast. 100% chance of showers today. So we're not gonna climb Katahdin today either. Tomorrow is our last day here at the park. It looks like we're gonna get up super early, hike the mountain right off, and then drive the seven hours back to New Hampshire. It's gonna be a long day, but forecast looks much better. 10% chance of precipitation tomorrow. Partly sunny, mid 70s. So, should be worth the wait, hopefully. Today we're gonna take a drive back to Bangor, resupply, grab some showers, and we'll be back to the park this evening.
right, so we're all cleaned up. We're gonna run into town and resupply, and then head back to the park. So we're back in Millinocket and just saw a moose on the side of the road. Pretty cool. Uh, did the $20 resupply over at Hannaford's and uh, grabbed a couple other essentials. We'll be uh, back in the park in about an hour and we're going to have a little bit of dinner and maybe go down to Sandy Pond for a little bit, see if we can see the mountain. Just getting picked up, packing up everything that we can so we can head out super early in the morning and we're gonna make some supper here shortly and get an early night. Got a big day tomorrow. Skies are getting really nice, so had to be very patient this past couple days, but I think it's gonna pay off tomorrow, so. five o'clock we've got the campsite all picked up and we just dropped the cars off here at the day use parking area and we're about to get on trail
awesome weekend, uh, great hike. Uh, big thank you to Willow, he's been a great host and uh, a great guide. We honestly couldn't have done this without you, Willow, so thank oh, you. Oh, so glad to host you guys here. Yeah, it was a blast. So stay tuned for the next adventure. See you on the trail.